I have this like super weird things where, thing where I dream about songs. Oop, dream girl. Yes. Dream songs, writing in your dreams. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mind blowing. Double meaning. <laughs> What up everybody? Welcome to another Pop Dust Presents. We are super excited because today we have Anna of the North. Yes. How are you doing? I'm good. <laughs> well, you Very should, good. You I should got a be... nice, uh, how do you say it, welcome. This is, yeah, welcoming. Yeah. Welcome. Yes, <laughs> a warm welcoming yeah. from Fred the Dog. Yes. Your album just came out, Dream Girl. Yeah, it's uh, super exciting. Super exciting, uh, uh, but also I'm really nervous about it all. You have the single out, Dream Girl, and yep. then how has the response to that been? I think like everything is just like a step upwards from like the my first album, and everything is going really, really well. So that's super exciting. But uh, it's also you know like releasing an album, and your it's like your whole personality, like my my two past years. Just yep. like out there, and that's what's just like, yeah, a bit nerve wracking. For two years, you've been working on it, and so you must have started working on it right when you put out your first album. I released my album the 17th of September, like the first one, and then I started, I went to London starting writing the new album in November. Very cool. Yeah, but that's I, I've done the same now because I get so nervous nervous around like album release and if like stuff like, you know because as I said like when you you like what I what, who I was two years ago is not the person I am today like I'm yeah. quite similar but, yeah. <laughs> but but I'm not the same um, you know and now there's other stuff to write about and I'm so afraid of like releasing this album and yeah so instead of like thinking too much about that, it's easy to just write something new. Who is the dream girl? I think it's kind of like who you want to be, who you're not. Um, you know, in some situations you wish you maybe were different or were someone else. And it's Every like, situation. <laughs> yeah. Every waking moment of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. So for me, it's not about like body or it's not about like being perfect or anything like that. It's more about you know, on my album, I wrote about song, like I wrote songs about stuff that wasn't perfect, but how, and also like songs that was more, not re real, but more like how I want or would like love the situation to be. Yeah. And this is kind of the dream girl who, for me, is just, yeah, this is just like in my album, everything is kind of perfect. That's awesome. In, inside of my album, and that's like my dream girl, kind of, and yeah. It's more like this album is more positive in a way, and I'm probably not the most positive person in the world. But, but two years ago you were. Yeah, two years ago. <laughs> now, <laughs> deeply depressed. I yeah. don't... The next album is going to be awesome. And then I'm, like, I'm bipolar, like every second year. <laughs> you get like yeah. a sad album, happy album. Yeah. I want the really angry album. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah. We can make that happen. Slap like can now you, you if you want to hear yeah. the heavy metal version of Anna of the North. <laughs> can you produce it? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> Quick question, or maybe you have a story behind the name, right? Yeah. Because you come from Norway. Yeah. And then moved to Australia. Yeah. And that's where music really started happening for you, or? I love music, always done. But in Norway, you have something called Janteloven, which is, you're not supposed to, you shouldn't think you are something, some like better than others, or it's just like, no one is allowed to brag. So it means that no one dares to like talk loud about their dreams or. So is Instagram outlawed? Uh, no, that's fine because it's international. <laughs> okay. No, but it's but yeah, it's weird because I didn't dare talking about like in Norway. Like none of my friends knew that I was even singing. So like I think whatever you dream about, like if you don't say it out loud, if you don't like, it won't happen. And I think it's so awkward because with me, I didn't say it out loud. I didn't like. I just kind of like inside me. Oh, would have been cool, maybe, you know. And then I went to Melbourne. All this like I felt this whole different vibe and people were like saying that they kind of, yeah. And um, and I started saying like, well, I like music and I actually I would want to try like to 
maybe sing more and try to do stuff and try to write more and start like talking <coughs> to other musicians about maybe like collaborating yeah. and then as some like as soon as I started saying that out loud it's like the universe were just like throwing music at me <laughs> no <Wow>. music <laughs> <Yeah>. stuff <laughs> this is crazy though I had no idea that in in Norway you're just not supposed to have dreams <laughs> no, you like, yeah, but I think it's... You're like, don't talk about it? Yeah, no, but like, that's definitely... But then you have like other super cool people who just like, I am, you know? But I was probably more like insecure, like... So you went down to Australia, you met a bunch of liars. Yeah. That <laughs> yeah. were lying about what they did. And then the universe just started giving you music <laughs> and, and bringing stuff to you. And it must have like, I mean, it's been so true for you because you've done some huge collaborations. I mean, you got Remix with Chainsmokers yeah. that has, I think, 50 billion streams or so. <laughs> I think that's how many. I um, don't know. I, I ha can, how did that happen? I don't know. They just messaged me on Twitter. They just asked if they could. Damn, I gotta check my DMs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's, Chainsmokers are just sliding in there. That's, offering, oh, man. that's what I mean, though. Like, Universe started throwing shit at me. <laughs> <laughs> and, and did you catch it? Or? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I said, hey, uh, love your song Sway, we know we're the selfie guys, but uh, <laughs> we would love to remix your song, you know, it's just like, mm, no, <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, cool. Like, that's, that's so awesome. cool. Yeah. Shout out to the Chainsmokers for yeah. that. No, like, artists like that, they don't care about, like, how big, they didn't do it to, like, they just love the song. Yeah. You know what I mean? And... I think Sway, the song itself, has gotten me to where I am today because there was a lot of people who got in touch with me because wow. of that song. Yeah. And did you put that out like with a label or just independently? Independently, yeah. First, it was just like no plan. Actually, just a joke. <laughs> and, like we just, uh, my friend just put it out as NF North on SoundCloud when I was sleeping. Like as a joke? <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. Just, and so, I, I, like not as a joke, but just more like, ha! Ah, I put the song out. You go down up north now. As, as you while you were sleeping. Yeah, and I woke up. So identity like, theft. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of a lot of good people in Australia, I guess. Yeah. And then so when I woke up, we had like ten thousand listenings. I think it's just wow. crazy. And then suddenly. I was a musician. What should people be looking forward to next? Are you going on tour, traveling around? Can't wait to get back on tour. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So yeah, I'm coming to America in February. So I can't wait to get back and yeah, playing a lot of shows. I'm also working on my new album, <laughs> just because I have to yeah. do that. Yeah. <laughs> Put my creativity somewhere. And yeah, just having, enjoy life. That sounds that sounds great. Yeah. Difficult to do, but it's a it's a weird a dark theme to this interview. <laughs> yeah, um, but that's uh, that's uh, we're we're working on the yeah. the inspiration for the new aggressive album. Yeah. So we just have to t tear ourselves down, yep. and then with the new album, we're gonna like go uh, <laughs> <laughs> get through with it. <laughs> uh, what actually? What's your your songwriting process like? It's different from song to song to song. Like, do you what? start like with instruments? Do you produce yourself? Um, so I'm not a producer in that way, but I can play some and I use like I started everything. Like I started my, <laughs> my producer skills in the garage band. Nice. Uh, if you know what garage yeah. band is. Um, and uh, so yeah, I, I don't know much, but like yeah, enough to make a little t tiny demo. Uh, so either I start there just with some chord, but like yeah. And then usually I take it to like someone who knows yeah. can put it a bit more in place and like make it a proper song. That's cool. <laughs> you know, but I had I also do like sessions and then like sometimes we start with uh, um, like the instruments. But I also had like sometimes I just show like some demos on my phone. I love that voice recording thing. Yeah, that's like. The best thing that ever happened. Yeah. <laughs> so many ideas that starts there. I have this like super weird things wh thing where I dream about songs, just never remembering it. So maybe that's I the next that. technique. I hate that. I've, I felt I've, that's happened to me, and yeah. like there'll be like a couple different things where I'll wake up and I might just realize like once I'm awake that no that was actually a terrible song I was working on. <laughs> yeah. <in my> <laughs> 
or or I actually like a few times I actually have remembered it, but it's sometimes if I'm like it's really good, like you mm. really better get that voice recorded out yeah, r- real yeah. quick because yeah. you're gonna lose it. Yeah, yeah, we just need some like a bit more sleep before you do it, and then it's all gone. Yeah. Ooh, dream girl. Yes. Dream songs, writing in your dreams. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mind blowing. Double meaning. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Anna of the North, definitely check out Dream Girl, her sophomore album, out now. And uh, yeah, thanks for being here.